is there a concrete example of something where you you said you said something and i'm not thinking of anything in particular i'm being ge entirely genuine here it, is there an instance where where you feel you said something that that uh, appeared to be true to you at the time and knowing what you know yes i think i was a little i think i was a little dismissive of the men going their own way because i think i called them pathetic weasels which and I had my reasons for that. My reasons were, roughly speaking, that who, I... Who are the men going their own way, oh, just for context? Well, they're a group of people, mostly on the net, who have had, who've been burned in their relationships or who conceptualize themselves as having been burned in their relationships. And they believe that the legal structure in particular in Western countries is so tilted against men, particularly in family dispute situations, that, and divorce settlement, that it's safer for men not to establish permanent relationships with women not to cohabit with them, ever. And they're a large movement. Now, how large they are, I don't know, but they're large enough. And they have what I would regard as an undue influence over relatively bitter and resentful young men who haven't had great success in the dating market and who are looking for a rationale to write off all women because they've, they're so hurt by their continual rejection. And that is not good for those young men. And so the reason that I disparaged the men going their own way was because I had seen the pernicious effect, these are often older guys, the pernicious effect of their uh, world-weary philosophy on young men. Now, these guys think that they're just warning them, and they are warning them, but they're not just warning them. Now, the reason I re regret calling them pathetic weasels is because they also have a point. I do believe that the court systems are staggeringly anti-male, absurdly, horribly anti-male. And I've seen my own clients, some of them who are really, really decent, hardworking, family-oriented people, demolished by the court systems. And, and so the men going their own way have a point. Um, and so I'm sorry that I called them pathetic weasels. but I. But I outlined my reasons, and so yes, I do regret that. I have to be careful because I do have a satirical, dark, satirical sense of humor, and I can utter epithets, let's say, for the sake of punctuating a point, while simultaneously forgetting that 150,000 people will listen to it. So, so I regret that. 